All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Sunday live stream and uh, happy Memorial Day weekend. So just like the thumbnail title suggests, but I wanted to, I was kind of getting concerned. I was getting concerned because when I was taking a look at just some recent data points and of course, price action, like we always like to take a look at uh, today, we're down a little bit. But of course, across the Ethereum ecosystem, we're up, obviously, because the Ethereum ETF. But what I started to think about, I started to think about, like, first of all, how long we've all been here. Like, if you're here right now, you're not a tourist. You've been here for quite some time. You've done the due diligence. You've done your homework. You've bought during the bear market. Congratulations. But the thing that concerns me is not that part. The part is, is just what are the percentages of us really hitting it big? And how, what kind of projects are out there that would hit it big? And historically speaking, how well have these projects done? So I took a look at CoinGecko, and I'm just going to scroll all the way down. Did you know that... I mean, I don't know what you're into as far as like with crypto projects, but uh, I've got quite a diverse portfolio, but no one's got a diverse portfolio of 14,458 different cryptos that are out there. That's ridiculous, obviously, right? And I would venture to say that the majority of you probably don't have more than 10. Some of you have 25, some of you have 50, some of you have 100, but that's very few. So I took a look at this. I'm like, well... There's so many different options out there. We all know that most of this is trash, right? I mean, come on. Most of this stuff is trash. It's not going to get anywhere. But we believe in it because, like, you know, there's a, there's a good narrative around it. And there's a good hype around it. And the team, bro, the team and the tech is awesome. And da, da, da. I'm like, well, all right, just remember this. You've only got so much as far as the amount that you can really get into and to actually be successful, just normal business. So what I did was I took a look at two things. I took a look at... First of all, I stole, I stole all Ben's information as usual over on his website uh, uh, <laughs> into the Cryptoverse. And there's a, uh, there's a link you can sign up, but this part here is free, the DCA simulation. And what I did was I just took a look at the top. I did put 10 in here. That's, I think that's one of the maxes of how things have been going as far as the investments over time from October 1st, 2023 to today. Uh, May 25th, is that what it is? No, 26th. Well, as long as it's May 25th, so what are you going to do? So I took a look at that. And then what I took a look at was I gave or I listed in chronological order all the top coins from 2017, the top 53 coins in 2017, the top 53 coins from November 2021, and the top 53 coins from uh, right now, actually yesterday, May of 2024. And what I wanted to see is just how many of those have actually maintained that top 53. And I will show you just how bad it actually is the longer that you hold on to projects. Now, obviously, if you held on to Bitcoin from 2017, you're doing okay. I mean, let's be honest, but some of these trash. So here's what I've taken a look at. I was just gonna give a, a great guesstimation and just kind of keep things simple. 100 bucks a week, I start every Monday. I started October 1st, 2023, which I've been dollar cost average since 2022. So when I talk about profits, that's for me. Like, I don't know what you're doing. I can't give financial advice. I'm not your dad. You do whatever you want to do because I don't know what your situation is, how long you've been in it. So for me, like, I mean, any day is not a bad day to take some profits, quite honestly, because I'm up. But I mean, am I up on everything? No. So here's what's happening. So I took a look at, I took in, I put in Bitcoin, Cardano. AVAX, Near, Doge, Solana, Dot, ETH, Arbitrum, Link, and Matic. And I was going to have Bonk in there. And I'll show you Bonk in a second. It's a meme coin. It's ridiculous. But it skewed all the results. And, I, and I'll show you just how crazy it is. And then we're going to get into uh, a meme coin that just did a rug pull today. And they took off with like $40 million. So that's why we'll get into that in a second. But I just want to ask you guys right, right now, which one do you think the ones that I just talked about is the best performing asset. I got Ethereum, Solana, Doge, Cardano, AVAX, Polkadot, Near, Matic, and Arbitrum. I'll put in Bonk. Bonk did, Bonk crushed everything. I'll tell you that right now. Which ones in here do you think did the absolute best? And which ones are the actual worst? I'll wait. I want to see what everybody's in there. Darren says Near. Hey, Seuss, my man. This is Doge. Hey, Seuss, remember, meet up. Consensus, soul, soul, near, soul. Hey, stop putting it. Okay. I think soul. That's, that's what I thought too. Jay says, Pepe, Jasmine, Turbo, Bonk after these three players. <laughs> Probably so. So what's crazy enough 
is as well as as well as Near has done, or excuse me, Salon has done. If you would have just started on Oct October first, twenty twenty three, quite some time ago, hundred bucks a week. Coincidentally, funny enough, you're up two hundred fifteen percent, and it's Near beating Solana now. Everybody who's in Solana now wants to tell you that they bought Solana at nine bucks and most people are full of it. I mean, I like to hear it. It's fun on X, but I mean, come on. Everybody bought it at nine bucks or 10 bucks when it hit the absolute low and they sold their house and kids and kidneys and bought everything and now they're billionaires. All right, good for you. I don't think that's true, but whatever. But over here, you can see that it's pretty good. Now, I wanna show you this. Look at the losers. And I, I, I'm not gonna say losers, although I just did. So uh, let's the underperformers. That's a good one. Matic, Arbitrum, Cardano was only up 10%. Polkadot, 17%. I think these are gonna shift a little bit because layer twos, I think, is one of the big narratives that could really come out of the Ethereum ETF. And just as Vitalik, I don't think he's really keen on going just straight up layer one without layer twos to actually move things forward and progress, but I could be wrong. So now I wanna show you this. I'm gonna put in Bonk. That's gonna look goofy. So Bonk is my 10th one. That's the maximum. That's Bonk right there. That's Bonk. If you'd have been in October 20, 2023, which I wasn't in there, I wish I was, you would have spent $3,400, you would have had 71,000. Not bad. Not bad for a doggy meme coin, right? So taking a look at that, I thought to myself, well, over time, how well do these do? So here's the top 53 from November 14th, 2021. Let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? This is always fun. Get to see how awful things got. <laughs> so as always, Bitcoin's always one. It's always number one. Will it always be number one? Eh, debatable. I think so, but a lot of, some people don't. Some, a lot of people do. Ethereum, Binance, Coin, Tether, Solana, number six, November 14th, 21. Polka dot Doge. Remember Terra? Oh, I remember Terra. That was a good one. Uh, but it went to zero. Avalanche, like Binance Cash or Bitcoin Cash. Hey, Polygon, Crypto.com, VeChain. This sounds pretty familiar, right? Cosmos, Theta, Bitcoin Bet2, huh. Hedera, Dai, Elron, eh. Monero, EOS was number 46. I don't know how the hell that happened. Kusama and IOTA. Now let's take a look. Let's fast forward to today or actually yesterday. How many of those are still in the top 53, do you think? Do you think it's like 80%? Because it was not that long ago, right? It was very close. Well, it actually did pretty good. And this is where I came up with the title. Everything in blue are the ones that are new, that weren't in the top 53, which is kind of weird, right? So Lido Staked ETH wasn't around. USDC, I thought it was, but maybe I could be wrong on that one. Tuncoin came out of nowhere. Now it's not, not top 10. Pepe, another one of the meme coins. Fetch AI, ICP, get out of there. Leo Token, Wrapped ETH, Aptos, Render, Renzo, Staked ETH, Immutable X, Cosmos. Oh, that's not right. Cosmos is still there. I'll take that one out. Caspa, Arbitrum, First Digital, Dog with Hat, OKB, BitTensor, Stacks, blah, 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 whatever. So if we take a look at it, it's about 50%, eh, 25 out of 53, 47 with that goof I had, probably 46, 45. So you got about a 50, 50 shot for the next one. Now, will these ones still be in the top? I don't know. And of course, everybody's gonna give me their opinion, which is fine, which is great. So I can see that. But now let's take a look and go back even farther in time to, November, to December 17, 2017. That was the all time high during that cycle. How many do you think were still there? Twenty-four percent. And I want you to try to remember this. And this is why I say, like, the longer you're in, I think the harder it is, because remember, all these projects are just businesses, and these businesses they have to grow, and they have to do something, and they can't just be hype, and they have to have partnerships, and they have to have a balance sheet that's positive, and these just don't do it. I mean, they're out. Some are still, I mean, I'm not saying that they're bad projects. I'm just saying that as far as like, if we're, if we're here, let's be honest. If we're here to change our pocketbooks, right? And we're like, well, I'd like to have something that goes up 100%, 200%. You got that part. 
And some people here like, I'm just here for decentralization because I hate everything that, that's going on with the government and the world around. I got you, right? But if we're just talking about straight profits, these didn't do so hot. So actually in blue, these are the old, the old staples. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, XRP, Litecoin, Cardano. IOTO dash NIM. Does anybody remember NIM? Yeah, exactly. Bitcoin Gold. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> EOS is, I think it's number 100 now. NEO, Tron, wow. Qtum, BitConnect, that went to zero. Populous, let me say go. Lisk, Zcash, Wave, Stratus, BitShares, Ardor, Hypercash, Bitcoin, Monaco, Monacoin? It, I remember that one. Arc Status, Steam, Veritasium, Einsteinium. Sea coin salt, dash of salt, <laughs> Komodo auger, Pivx. Remember Golem? Oh, that was a big one. Electronium vert coin, V chain for somehow has been hanging around. Good for that. I still have some. Qosh and Digibyte. So again, I think the longer that you're in here, the more risky it is. And the more that you go down that ladder, as far as like for the market caps, the more risky it is just to hold on to it. Now, I want to make this crystal clear. I think for right now, for the ones that you're here, you should probably think about holding them until we get to this blow off top bull market. I don't think there's going to be a super cycle like everybody talks or some people talk about, but I do think that these things will go up just because of hype alone, not because of fundamentals and how great it is, how it changes the world. But I'm just saying as time goes on, you really wanna think about taking some profits. And that's one of the rules that we always talk about on the show because I don't want anybody to do a round trip and not take any profits on their tomato coin because they think it's gonna be the best token that the Olive Garden has to offer, whatever, I don't know. So as time goes on, just remember, and these things get risky. And the most risky of risky is stuff like this, Normie. So Normie is on base and it's, it's a meme coin. And actually, Jesus is in the chats right now is the one that I first saw this on Twitter. I didn't know this actually happened. So it looked like it went from uh, four cents, which is pretty good. And went down to essentially, it's down 96% so far. I don't know who's holding that, but maybe you can't get rid of it. That's just how it is. And I went and took a look at it again, because Jesus showed me this one. And I thought, ah, oh, the account suspended on, on X or Twitter. And then when I came back here, it says, there's an, kindly refer to this announcement for more information. I'm like, oh, maybe they're you know transferring things or there's something that's going on behind the scenes, like a new token, or something like that. Well, I couldn't find anything on their Twitter account, couldn't find anything on their website, but there was a piece that came out and apparently these darn smart contracts, I just can't get them right somehow. Tell me if you don't think this, is, this sounds funny. So there was a vulnerability and it was an enormous smart contract. The flaw in the pre-market user map bypassed checks within the swap and liquify function. Lupo allowed tokens to be minted and sold without restriction. According to Golden Degen, that's a good name, the contract's verification process only checked if the balance matched that of the team wallet. If the balances matched, it permitted the minting of tokens. <laughs> How convenient. The team wallet. The exploiter allegedly took advantage of this by manipulating their token balance to match the team wallet's balance. They then began minting and selling large quantities of the tokens in the open market, significantly increasing the total supply and crashing the price. So look, I don't know who's at fault. I just know that uh, all meme coins or most meme coins are going to zero anyhow. And before everybody says, well, all meme coins are going to zero, let me direct your attention to Dogecoin. It's the first meme coin that's out there. And it's been in the top 35 since it's Inception in 2014. I still like Dogecoin. That's why I say that. And uh, that's it. So let me know what you think about that in the comment section. And two last things, a little PSA. Remember, it's not how much you make, it's how much you keep. So be aware that if you don't want to be like me and lose some of your seed phrases, which I have before in the past, uh, roughly $20,000 worth of Cardano is now gone because of my stupidity. Uh, make sure you get something like a shield or the stone card or shield folio. These are booklets that you can write things in, but they came out with these new things. And these are just like, they're just cards. And I thought it was pretty interesting because what they're trying to do is for multi-sig wallets. It's so like, if you have a multi-sig wallet, like you could type in, or you could write in, I should say, uh, the first six, 
and then give the other three to somebody you trust and the other three to somebody you trust. Or you could do half and half or whatever else. That's a great thing for a multi-sig. I mean, if you wanna do something like that, or just to kind of split things up and make things easier. And it's only like it's only 19 bucks and you get 10 cards. And they're waterproof and they're smudge proof and they're, they last for quite a long time. I got a, two of those books. Then also, don't forget about uh, cold storage devices, kind of important. There's a link in the description for a Tangent Wallet. Get a discount, grab a wallet, and that's it for today. So look, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing. Everything we talk about is time sensitive.